What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in Main Man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this, man. I just recently took in a interview from Steven Espinoza. We know that Steven Espinoza is out promoting the Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva fight, fight fans. And so he was caught up in recent interviews. And uh, of course, you know, they're going to ask him about Crawford and Spence. In one of those interviews, the interview over on Fight Hype, salute the Fight Hype, go over to fighthype.com, fight fans to check out the full interview of Steven Espinoza. But during, one of the, during that interview, he stated that, that they hope that they can put the Crawford fight back together. It's a good it, attitude to have, Espinoza. That's a very good attitude to have, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all know y'all dropped the ball, man. Y'all didn't have that fight ready to go. Y'all looking for more money, you know what I'm saying? I find it real funny though, how they found all of this money for Jake Paul and Anderson Silva, yet we ain't getting no Tank Davis and we ain't getting no Spence and Crawford. But we damn sure getting Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. It looks as if that, according to Steven Espinosa, they were caught a bit blindsided by the Crawford move and they didn't ha really have a backup plan, allegedly. And it says that, you know, Earl Spence Jr., he wanted to fight no one but Terrence Crawford. And it looks as if now they're going to look to go ahead and find him a good name. And then hopefully, probably, hopefully try to come on back around to the Terrence Crawford fight, per the words of Steven Espinosa. Y'all can't trip out if Terrence Crawford turn around and say, hey, you know, that first deal that we was talking about, well, that's null and void because we were talking about that deal with me coming off the Sean Porter fight making six million. Now I'm making eight figures coming off my last fight. So I don't know, that deal might be null and void. I hope Showtime is ready for that. I'm just glad to know that Steven Espinosa ain't being sour. He ain't being bitter. He's taking it in stride and I think he understands that it's just business fight fans. And that's the way these things go, you know what I mean? Look, he, and he very well, much well understands that everything that's been offered and they were talking about was for 2023. And I don't think it's no harm, no foul with Steven. If anything, I think Steven Espinosa is more interested in knowing what's going to happen with Jerome Boots Ennis, a Showtime exclusive fighter. And they're probably looking at the Earl Spence situation like, hey, if he goes towards Keith Thurman, if he goes towards Iamantha Stanionis, whichever one he goes towards, somebody need to be coming towards Boots way. You feel me? So that's good stuff. And it's good to know that they still have the appetite to continue to do business with Terrence Crawford in the future. But you got to ask yourself, fight fans, how can they resist? This is the biggest fight in boxing. This fight means everything to Earl Spence Jr. Maybe not as much to his fans who prefer to be cheerleaders, but to the actual fighter himself. This is everything, fight fans. All that legacy, all of that achievement, all of that 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 prize, all of that reward, fight fans, that you he can only get from Terrence Crawford. And so I'm sure Showtime and, and PBC and any other suit that's involved understand that they have a huge thing on their hands and they, gotta, they, they now have more time to hopefully come correct and put this thing together the right way. You know, it's kind of funny. They be running around talking about, yeah, Terrence Crawford, he's pop, not popular. Who knows him? It's not that big of a fight, yada, yada. Yet fight fans, we now at the position where we got not one, but two apps that chose to make Terrence Crawford the face to roll their app out. We've seen Terrence Crawford do it with ESPN Plus, and now he's getting eight figures for rolling out BLK Prime. So it looks like two streaming services have decided to lead off into, into their foray into boxing using Terrence Crawford as their face. But no one knows them, fight fans. How does it not make sense? Not to mention clocking the biggest checks at Welterweight. Doesn't make sense, now does it? Now, fight fans, there's also a audio, a leaked audio tape going on around. And I don't understand the meaning of this audio tape and pretty much who leaked it, fight fans. Let me just say, fight fans, whoever leaked this phone call of Earl Spence Jr. talking on the phone, I hope y'all got the consent of Earl Spence Jr. Because if not, the boxing community is becoming TMZ. The boxing community is becoming paparazzi fight fans. And it don't make no sense because we're at the point of desperation that Earl Spence Jr. can't even have a phone conversation fight fans without someone recording him. That is a damn shame. So I just hope that whoever recorded Earl Spence Jr. during that phone call, I at least hope that y'all at least took the time to call up Earl and say, Earl, is this okay if I leak this phone call? Because the thing that I noticed about this audio leak, fight fans, is that 
it's heavily, heavily edited. You know what I'm saying? And I was like telling to myself, I'm like, whoever did this clearly doctored up this this audio leak. They make it sound good for Earl Spence Jr. A lot of the sentences are runoff sentences. He's jumping from subject to subject to subject. We barely even hear who he's talking to, fight fans. The one part of that audio leak that uh, caught my attention is the part where he was speaking about Terrence Crawford didn't want to speak to the lawyers anymore and he preferred to talk directly with Al Heyman. The only thing is, fight fans, it's hard for me to, dis to, to determine whether or not he's speaking about Terrence Crawford's lawyer and so he preferred to talk to Al Heyman or is he saying that Terrence Crawford doesn't want to speak to Al Heyman's lawyers and he prefers to talk straight with Al Heyman. It's hard to decipher that because it's so edited and, and, and you can clearly see parts are being left out, parts are, they're, they're pauses all through this thing, they're skipping all over the place. It's a doctored, edited, leak uh, phone call that once again, fight fans, we're in an era where not only do we have internet trolls, but we have internet roaches. And internet roaches are the ones that do the deepest, lowest, most, I mean, just anxious, thirstiest thing for attention or to become relevant or to do something for relevancy. You know what I'm saying? And in this case, be careful fight fans. Do not take a internet roach home. You take an internet roach home, they are bound to multiply. You know what I'm saying? You take an internet roach home, they're gonna spread all around. You know what I mean? And they thrive on hate. They eat hate. So given the fact that the uh, internet roach thrives off hate, the hate will eventually consume them and eventually their head will pop off, you know what I'm saying? So stay away from the internet roaches. They are the lowest scum of the earth and they are everywhere. Don't take one home. It looks as if even taking a phone call from Earl Spence Jr. and putting it for the world to hear. Now the crazy thing about this fight fans is the way I sum that all up is that it had to come from either one or two places, either a representative of Earl Spence Jr. or a, overze a overzealous need something to do why don't you go find some pussy fanatic it's either one or the other man you know what i'm saying and i totally understand earl spence jr is going to be having a fight coming up they don't have they don't want his image looking bad going into a fight so it could have came from a representative i don't know someone in the circle or it just came could have came from an overzealous fan who has way too much time on their hands and they need to figure out something to do you know what i'm saying and so they may have doctored up this thing right here and put it out there. I just don't know, fight fans. I haven't heard Earl Spence vouch for this, but I tell you one thing. If I do hear Earl Spence Jr. come out and say, hey, I didn't consent to this. I don't even know how this got out here. Well, this makes Spence Nation look desperate, thirsty, and just plain old, just half crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the measures that people are going to, to do, I guess, some sort of damage control for Earl, it's, it's astonishing. Now, fight fans, now I said I don't know what is the meaning of the tape. I don't even know what is the there, there, there. You know what I mean? All I hear him basically expressing is that he pretty much wants this fight. And I don't know. I, I can't speak for a lot of people, but I know for main man, made man, my beef is not with Earl Spence Jr. right now. My problem is with Terrence. I mean, it's with um, Premier Boxing Champions. My issue is with them. I believe that the suits and PBC are the ones that are having the issue with making this fight fight fans simple and simon so for whatever overzealous representative or fanatic that released this to the public it really didn't do anything i mean other than just kind of reinforce what people were already kind of believing you know what i'm saying i'm gonna say whoever did it do better work next time man because the thing was sloppy bro you know what i'm saying like the, the words were all distorted it was all chopped up you know uh, edited it up man like it was going in and out like this this was terrible man this was just terrible bro like this is a bad look if you really think about it in the long run it just it's just i'm sorry man it just reeks of desperation fight fans but look man whoever did it man get your editing skills up you know what i'm saying like do better the hell was that and also the another underlining message from that leak edited audio call was the fact that, yo, they were still discussing the fight for next year. Earl mentioned during the call they were talking about January. We see reports all over the place talking about next year. That is the golden point, Spence Nation. Everyone is okay with Terrence Crawford walking away because nobody wasn't fighting this year anyway. That's the whole point. So what is the there there of the edited audio leak fight fans? 
It's edited. It's doctored up. It's fraudulent. This is TMZ all over again, Fight Fans. It don't make no sense. Y'all Spence fans are desperate. And honestly, it's starting to look a bit pathetic to put something out this. And I just hope at the end of the day that Earl Spence Jr. gave his permission and consent because this is a total violation of his privacy, Fight Fans. We are crossing lines that we never crossed in the boxing community. Family was always off limits. And whatever a fighter does in their private time normally is off limits. But clearly, some of these fighters better watch out, man. Your phone might be tapped. You better watch who you're talking to because they're releasing videos, man. And it don't make no sense. This is a bad precedent to start setting. But it is what it is, man. I just want everyone to know before I get out of here, man, look, no matter what's going on, fight fans, no matter what you believe, what news you believe, we are where we are. And the way that the scenario is going to end up looking in 2023 from what we know so far, well, it can get a bit interesting. The thing is, the facts of the matter is, if Earl Spence, uh, is, is the, if the reports are true that Earl Spence is going to go and face Eamantis Stanionis, fight fans, well, this leaves a boots problem. And the boots problem is simple. If PBC doesn't offer Showtime a worthy name to satisfy the appetite of Jerome Boots Ennis, they're going to have a major problem. They're going to be pulling that level on the IBF and the IBF may threaten to strip Earl Spence Jr. if he doesn't fight that IBF mandatory. Now, the way that can go away, fight fans, of course, if PBC can make a deal with Showtime, whom Jerron Ennis is exclusively signed to, if they can make a deal with Showtime and say, hey, we'll give you a worthy enough name, then they can make that problem go away. But if Keith Thurman is going to continue to say he wants $10 million, if, if Keith Thurman is going to continue to say he wants $10 million, and if Stan Leonis is taking up and Earl is taking up, then where would this lead Boots? I'm just saying, fight fans. So Earl Spence Jr. is going to be in a situation where he may end up having to deal with that IBF mandatory again. And the only person that can rescue him out of that situation is Terrence Bud Crawford, fight fans. Total leverage. Because the only way that the IBF will perhaps back down is with the threat of an undisputed fight and a signed agreement from Terrence Crawford. If they don't have that fight fans, there's a there's a probability that Earl can be stripped of his IBF title. So we'll see fight fans. To the next video, man. Much love to the fam and we'll see how this all plays out. To the next video, man. Peace out.